Good morning, YouTube. Afternoon. Whatever you want to call it. It's still morning, I guess. Anyway, so I am um, experimenting today with um, some solar power. I want to see if the system that I've got right now, the Harbor Freight solar kit, 100 watt solar kit, and I have a power inverter, a battery, and a battery charger. I want to see if I, I can refrigerator for any length of time. So I have a power drive, 3000 watt inverter. I've got a 1500 watt power drive inverter. And then I've got this 100 watt solar panel kit from Harbor Freight. And then I've got a single AGM battery that I'm currently charging. This is no joke. I haven't even taken plastic off. And these things are already making power. And they're not even in the sun yet. That's kind of amazing. That's got potential. Um, I'm actually super excited about that. So let's get our voltage gauge out and see how many volts it's making. Sitting in the shade with uh without the power being on pretty well packaged Okay, so it says it's making eleven point two five volts. Let's see here. See if it's making amperage. It's producing a whole point zero nine amps. Covered up. How about DC amps? Point zero nine. Point zero nine. Full sun. Hmm. It says it's making 24 volts. Full sun, one panel. Mm hmm. Interesting. I'd like to know how many watts it's producing. Just one panel. It's making 24 volts. Okay. Okay, so we have four panels set out here. So what we'll do this box is the charge controller and wires. We'll get them out and hook them up and see what we get. Rig together for now. So um, I'll show you what I got. So I got this the fifteen hundred watt power inverter hooked up to the charge controller. It's connected to the four 25 watt solar panels. And we're making, we're charging at the rate of 12.5 volts at the moment. And we've got a 210 watt draw off the power inverter. And if you follow this cord all the way back here into there, it runs right into the back of the refrigerator. If you open the refrigerator, it's plugged in, and it's getting cold. So, 
that refrigerator only pulls approximately, I'd say it's probably going to peak out around 250 watts. So that means that in order to run that refrigerator continuously, I need approximately 300 watts of solar to power that refrigerator. So that's, that's okay. pretty good. So it's the next day and, um, and I've been running this refrigerator off of the battery for 24 hours now. Looks like we're going to get a storm. Um, so we'll show you, I mean, I guess I'll show you what I did. So I've got this battery charger hooked up to this one Optima battery and this 12 volt power inverter. This is 13.6 volts and it says zero watts. Now watch this. Here's the refrigerator. So I'm gonna open this door and now it's pulling 30 watts. The refrigerator is on. You can see the light in there. And this is the cord. It's running back here. Plugged into the refrigerator. And then so now it's charging. It'll go back up to 90. And then with the door closed, it's still at zero watts. So that pretty much proves that uh, a refrigerator only pulls wattage while the compressor is running and or, i.e. lights open. Holy crap. Time to go inside. It's getting ready to go. Come on, get in the house. Gonna be a no, but it's about to storm like a mofo for a little bit. Come on, get in the house. Hurry up. Do you like this RMA? Cool. Hey, thanks for holding the door open for me. I'm sorry. So anyway, yeah. The uh, refrigerator is working solely off of the battery and uh, the power 1500 watt power inverter with a outside power source, i.e. solar or battery charger. So yeah, anyway, that'd be enough for this video. A um, little experiment with the refrigerator. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see here, go on ahead and give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below and um, ring that bell. You'll get notifications when we upload videos. And now I've got to go batten down the hatches because it's getting pretty bad out there. Yep, welcome to spring in Kansas. <laughs> 